Hi, how are you? I'm freaking fantastic right now. morning guys happy Wednesday I'm about to make my protein pancake but I saw there was a question or comment uh, in yesterday's video of asking how I make them I've explained it a few times but I will show you guys again it's just the most basic um, protein pancake recipe from the tone it up nu nutrition plan so it's a quarter cup of egg whites a two tablespoons of un oh, wow unsweetened almond milk or whatever almond milk you have on hand. My favorite at the moment is the hint of honey. And then a scoop of your favorite protein. I am using the Cellucor cinnamon swirl, which out of all my years of protein pancake making, this is the best protein powder for making pancakes. It's just fluffy and light and um, it doesn't dry out. Like a lot of protein powders can dry out. So I'm just loving that. And then you can add to it whatever you want. Um, in the Tone It Up one, they add flaxseed. I don't have it. I don't really care. I don't think it makes a big difference. Uh, you could add fruit. You could add nut butters. If you Google how to make a protein pancake, it's all over the internet. But this is all I do. So it's the quarter cup egg whites, two tablespoons almond milk, protein powder. Yeah, that's it. Just kidding, I totally forgot, half of a banana, which is really important. Um, and I have been doing it this week in my Nutribullet because it just makes the batter a lot smoother and it's like more of a um, bisquick consistency or like if you get like those boxed pancake mixes. However, it's 100% clean and healthy and guilt-free. So yes, I'm sorry, half a banana. I just wanted to say that I was, as I was doubling up on my fresh greens, I was able to kick whatever was in my body right out and I'm so much better. Um, it took like two days for my gland to stop hurting but it never like progressed further than that. So if you haven't already tried like fresh greens, get it because that stuff works. Hi, how are you? I'm freaking fantastic right now. I just got back from Power X. That's right my friends. I got to go to one of my favorite classes tonight. Oh, I can't even tell you, no chance. I can't even tell you guys how freaking pumped I am right now. Okay, so here's the deal. Went to the doctor um, and he was so, so impressed, so happy with my progress. He's like, I can't even tell you. He's like, when you came in here to get your stitches out after the whole miscommunication of that I should be bending and trying to walk versus not, like whatever got up, messed up. He's like, I have notes here where I was just saying I was so concerned because your progress was so horrible. You came in here today 360%, uh, 360 degrees better. Yeah, that's a full circle, right? I'm like out of it right now. Um, so they took x-rays. He said that the surgery was definitely a success um, to keep doing what I'm doing. I probably can start spinning. He's not concerned about me having pain because that's gonna come with it. Um, he also made it a point to tell me that I have, I'm a big girl and I'll never be little um, because I have huge muscles and big bones. That's just how I was built. So I told my trainer that tonight too and she was like, he said that to you? Like men just, they don't freaking get it. Anywho, um, but he said that's also probably why it will take a little bit longer for my tendons and muscle to come back to where it was, especially because it's so atrophied at this point because it's so used to being built and stuff. Anyway, and I texted my trainer earlier today and I was like, I'm okay to come back to PowerX because PowerX is the one class that I do take that is so easily easy to modify because it's TRX, it's Viper, and it is Battle Ropes. If you don't know what those are, Google them. Um, so I focused mostly on upper body and the battle ropes instead of sand standing, which I usually do, I did sitting down 300 times harder. Um, the Viper, I did triceps and chest, which I did yesterday, so my arms are dead, like I'm shaking. Uh, and then I did deadlifts. Um, and then I did the rip trainer, which is part of TRX. I did biceps on tr uh, chest. Guys, just to be with everybody, like I didn't tell, like we talked on the phone beforehand and I didn't tell anybody that I was coming except Sarah and obviously my trainer and just the welcome 
back was just so awesome and it was so great to be with those people because that group is just amazing and we all feed off of each other and they were like I can't believe you're back like it's only been three weeks like da 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 and because I was told 8 to 12 and I'm already back, getting back into what I was doing so it just goes to show you that you are stronger than you think you can do chance oh that's Max whoops you can do what you put your mind to and don't let anybody ever tell you any different you are your own best and worst advocate because you can fight against yourself and put yourself down but at the same time you could build yourself back up and that's exactly what I'm doing like I have my moments I have my days where I'm feeling really crappy right now especially because I'm going through recovery and it's been a really harsh reality but it's just my new norm and I'll just have to adjust and accept it and I can still do the things I love just in a different way and that's okay dinner tonight is gonna be a good old protein shake not really hungry for like a big meal so what shall it be s'mores yeah I'm gonna go for some s'mores give me some s'mores um I think I'm just gonna mix it with water in a shaker cup does that sound right I think so not really too hungry right now but that Epsom salt bath was on point just what I needed after getting my booty kicked oh my god you guys my upper body is killing me ah I was watching snaps and this happened. Don't you hate when that happens to your phone? All right, kids, I'm going to finish up my water. Probably regret that it took me so long to get a gallon in today because I'm gonna be up all night peeing. But watch Big Brother in bed, call it a night, Eddie's at work. And I'm going away for bachelorette craziness in two days. Well, one day, really. Tomorrow's my last day of work for the week. Again, I'm still like not on a schedule. Like I know I have PT Mondays and Thursdays, but for some reason I have it Mondays and Wednesdays. Now that I'm back at Power X, that'll help me like keep my days in order, but I'm a hot mess. And I'm off Friday and Monday, so that's just gonna make life more confusing. But I don't know, fingers crossed. Tomorrow I'm told I can get into spin. Cardio! All right, I love you guys, I'll see you tomorrow.